Hi guys, it's Josh Weeb here from Border Hills Honey. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our comb replacement program uh, and show you some of the techniques we use and hopefully it uh, will help you in putting a comb replacement program in place for your own operation and for the overall health of your honeybees. This frame here, it's a darker brood frame. It's been in uh, uh, our operation for quite some time and we actually purchased this frame in um, prior to uh, our own comb program and comb replacement program so this frame has likely seen several different types of treatments uh, recommendation for mite treatments is that you do rotate it um, to uh, keep uh, resistance uh, to treatments out of your hives uh, for the mites and also it may have seen a viral load that was a little bit higher um, over that time period as well. Uh, we just don't know um, because it wasn't in our operation for the entire time and we have had some um, viruses within our operation as well. Um, the bees have been great at fighting those off. You can increase the immunity of your hive. Um, this hive will have soaked up some of that uh, treatment um, from each treatment source into the beeswax and also the beeswax will uh, at times harbor some of that viral load. So it's a good good idea to replace your honeycomb every few years. Our operation, we use a five-year uh, replacement program. Um, so we like to replace about 20% of our comb uh, every single year. Um, and then we use nine frame supers. So that allows us to replace two frames in each super and get above that 20%. Uh, and also in our brood boxes, we run 10 frames. Um, so by replacing two frames uh, in each brood box, uh, we also hit that 20%. So over the course of five years, uh, the plan is um, that we will see all of our old comb uh, be cycled through and either recycled or um, moved out of our operation in some way or other. So as I said, starting with the nine frame configuration, um, you can see I have seven frames in this box and we actually number all of our frames by the uh, number of the year. I don't plan to live a thousand years. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind beekeeping for a thousand years, um, but just putting the last two digits of the year is good enough for us. Uh, we started that after 2014, uh, judging by the uh, comb right on the end there. Um, but we'll start with the seven frames. Uh, and we'll space them out so that uh, we have a new frame in the third spot. From each end, so three and six, we'll have a new frame. Uh, and when we put those honey supers up onto the hive, uh, what we'll do is we'll space out the frames and we'll squeeze the new frame in between two frames and we'll put that tight so that the bees build that honeycomb nice and straight on our foundation uh, and then we space the rest out evenly um, so that the bees will build them out nice and fat. Um, that's the nine frame configuration. If we're really stretched for comb uh, and we need to you know do a 40 percent increase in our comb within the year uh, usually we can do that with our first two or three honey supers uh, when we're in the uh, canola flow um, without slowing down production too much. I prefer nine frames uh, with two new because it doesn't seem to slow down honey production at all. They fill out those frames for you and you get the same amount of honey. So if we do 10 frames, uh, what we do instead is we put a new frame in spot two. And a new frame in spot four. And also in spots six and eight. Now these Lewis supers, even with 10 frames in them, um, they tend to have a little bit of space, uh, which allows those combs to um, be drawn out a little bit thicker. But you can see um, just by the, you know, you always have a little bit of slightly uneven spacing unless you're really meticulous about it. Uh, and if that frame, um, like this one here on the end gets right up against the end of it uh, that frame will come through pretty thin and it might be hard for the uh, uncapper to 
uh, take the wax off of that and you'll end up having to scratch those frames which is a bit of a pain um, and that's why a lot of the commercial guys will run nine frames the frames come a out a little bit fatter and it allows them to use their uncapping equipment with minimal scraping um, of the comb So this is the configuration that I would use in my second brood box. The first brood box, usually I come through the winter and I'll leave that first brood box alone. Uh, and once they're ready to expand into a second brood box, I'll add one that looks like this. Um, so we have uh, a fresh frame, a 2019 frame at spots two and spot eight. And that allows the bees to have six frames in the middle um, so they can move their population up and the queen can start laying in there. And once that population is big enough that they need the second and eighth frame, usually they've had enough time to uh, either draw that those two frames out uh, or it's just time to put some honey supers on them. So I'm not too concerned about it, but it's a way to replace 20% of the brood comb in that second super. Uh, and often before we put the second super on, we'll actually uh, pull two frames from the bottom box and uh, allow that box to ha also have two fresh foundation frames for them to work on. So that's our comb replacement program here at Border Hills Honey in a nutshell. Uh, I may have missed a few things, uh, a few important factors into you know more reasons why you should increase uh, the amount of fresh comb in your operation. Uh, maybe you have a technique that you use that you think might be beneficial to us. We're always open to new suggestions, um, yeah, any new comments or anything like that, any ideas uh, for the future or ideas for future content. Uh, we're brand new at this YouTube thing and uh, I hope that as we get more uh, I hope that as we get more comfortable uh, with what feels like talking to yourself uh, that we can continue to bring you uh, more content uh, and uh, hopefully you might learn a thing or two through our operation either what to do or what not to do. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want to see more of us or you're interested in our operation uh, we're a Canadian sideliner beekeeper operation here in Manitoba Canada uh, and we would appreciate it uh, if you would like this video and subscribe uh, we would love to uh, have you join us on this journey